All right, now we're going to render out a piece of video. So this whole video would take a long time to render out. We're just going to render out a small piece. And sometimes that's the case. Maybe you just want one little tiny section of a bigger video. So this would also answer that question. In this case, I want to focus in on this area right here. So to start out with, let's set a start frame. Doesn't matter where. So we'll go frame, set start frame. And you can see that the start frame changed up here. Next, go over here. And we go frame, set end frame. If you see that your footage looks like this, okay, that is the preview. So you might want to uncheck that button and now it looks more like this. This is the alternate time frames and this is the real time frames. Alright, now up at the top you can see that it starts at 1 or 5,000, ends at 6,500. That's good. Alright, now we're going to specify an output. So under output, I have my output folder. And I'm going to specify xvid for this example. If it's xvid, I'm going to also match that xvid. Then I'll go down and specify an audio codec, in this case MP3. All right, with all those in place, I can hit animation. And it will start. You, you'll see a little time indicator at the top. Also, what you'll see in the folder is a new one with the keyframes that you're rendering with the frames that you're rendering so we'll let that play out now as it's rendering down below that totally destroyed your um, timeline or channels they're not gone um, when this gets done, I'll show you how to reset it so you'll have your channels back. Alright, so that's done. Now we'll go here and we'll go back to Video Sequence Editor. I right, got that. And now I can go over to Video Temp. I'll refresh this. It's 15 megs. And I can open this in Windows Media Player or VLC Player, it doesn't really matter. And there we go. Excellent. So that is how we output footage. And if we ever want to put those back in, let's say we want to add that movie, we can add those frames in here and we can put those on a different track now it's it's a one way to like render it out and bring it back in and then you can re-edit it but uh, in most cases you just want to export it out as a little small clip from a bigger clip all right let's move on to the next video